Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to learn how to go ahead and create another view for our Django website. So as you could see right now we only have one view so if you open up our code over here and if you go to the views.py file which is this file right here as you could see we only have this particular view which is the index view and this view can be accessed if we go ahead and type in the url as the root url slash photos so now let's learn how we could create another view and how we could incorporate that view in our existing website so in order to create a view you obviously need to write the view in the view code in the views.py file but also you need to have some kind of url to access that particular view. So even before we start creating the view, first we need to go ahead and configure a URL pattern for that particular view so that we could access the view with that URL. So now first let's go ahead and open up the urls.py file. So you need to open up the urls.py file of the app and the reason for adding the uh, URL here is because if you go to the urls.py file, of the main project we have actually passed in the photo app dot urls over here so we have automatically told this particular file that we need to use urls from the photo app dot urls so obviously you need to go into the photo app urls file and here we could now go ahead and create a new path so that we could actually go ahead and access a new kind of view so right now this thing only says that this is a home page and what we actually want to do is that we want to access the different kind of photos so for example if you want to access photo one you should be able to just go ahead and just type in photo slash one and that should redirect you to photo one if you type in photo slash two it should redirect you to the fo second photo and everything like that so that is the kind of working or functionality which we want to add in our site so in order to do that what we will do here is that we will first go ahead and start creating the path for it so we will type in path and here as we actually want to enter a number after the photo url what we will do is that we will mention here that we want to enter an integer value and that integer value is going to be nothing but the photo underscore id so we will pass in photo id over here and then there should be a slash over here now once we create the url pattern we actually need to associate a view with this url pattern so that when this pattern matches up with any url it should be redirected to the appropriate view so the view which we will be creating is going to be called as the detail view so we will simply type in views dot detail that means it's actually going to go ahead into the views dot py file here and it's actually going to access the view which For now, what we want to do is that we want to uh, basically display some text like uh, this is the page for photo 1 or this is the page for photo 2. So for that very purpose, we will actually go ahead and create an h2 tag over here. And this is going to say something like uh, this is the page for photo and the photo ID should actually be equal to the photo ID which we have passed here so that is going to be first converted into a string so str and just pass in photo underscore ID over here and then just give a plus sign and end the h2 tag over here and once we do that we are basically good to go so now let's save the code and hopefully our code should work fine so now let me just fire up the server the server is already up and running so when I hit refresh, as you could see, we have our regular home page. But now if I go ahead and type in photo slash one, it says this is the page for photo one. 
that means now we have a new view which automatically dynamically updates when we pass in a photo ID over here. So if you type in photo ID 5, as you could see, this thing says that this is the page for photo 5. So that's how we have created a new view for the which is called as the detail view. But right now, it's only displaying us the number over here. There is nothing new in that. It's simply taking the number which we have passed in over here in the URL and it's going to simply post that number over here. So there is nothing special about that. But the only thing which we have to do here in the upcoming lecture is that instead of displaying some simple numbers over here, we actually want to display or list out the entire photos and their details over here. So that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, we are going to learn how we could connect to the database and how we could extract some data from the database. And in our case, data is nothing but photos. So whenever we open up these URLs, we should actually have the details or a list of photos. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.